Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 23, and today just verse 13 as we're going through these laws, coming up to some business about the sanctuary in, in chapter 24 and 25, but finishing out these laws, very interesting. There's a set of three. We just, the last two days we worked on them, and this is the third in the three. Look at what it says, verse 13. Now concerning everything which I have said to you, be on your guard, and do not mention the name of other gods, nor let them be heard from your mouth. Well, that's an interesting item, isn't it? In the Bible, there is a complete exclusion of the Christian from the worship of other gods. We are not to combine Christianity with Hinduism or some other ism. Uh, Christianity is its own thing. Monotheism is its own thing. Okay, so we worship the one God, period. Okay, there is no other God, just the God of the Bible, and so we worship him. Notice here the exclusion of all other gods is complete. That's absolute. There's no uh, blending. We don't get anything else in here. It is, it is clearly, distinctly just one God. And I want you to notice there's no syncretism. There's no blending theologically. We can't bring in theological system A, theological system B, theological system C, theological system D, theological position E, F, G, and H, I, and J. You can't blend all these different supposed, you know, theologies uh, because a theology is a word about God. It is what the word of God says about God. So really there would be really, um, dare we say it, in this day of pluralism and, and mix and match and, you know, everything needs to blend. But there's one theology, okay? The Bible has a message from Genesis to Revelation. There's one message about God. There's not 84,000 or 66 or 44 messages about God. There is one theology in the Bible. Each Bible writer contributes their portion, but it's one theology. So we can't be blending in liberation theology and feminist theology and so on. We need to let the Bible speak to us. We need to let God speak to us from his word. And this command in verse 13, uh, you shall not mention any other than even the name of other gods. Uh, what he's saying here, what Moses is telling us is, do not try to blend all these things in with the true worship of the true God. Don't do it. I remember a few years ago, there was something on the internet. It's probably still hanging there on YouTube somewhere. There was a channel that was devoted to it. It was called Can It Blend? And people, this guy would put every different thing in the blender and press the button and he would see if it would be able to blend or if it would destroy the blender. And he had jillions of hits on his website there. And yeah, it's kind of satisfying sometimes when you're in kind of a weird mood to sit and watch and see him blend something pretty weird. Um, but that's big, a big waste of time, of course. But uh, theologically, I want you to know, we're not, it's not our business to blend. Theologically, it's our, our business to find out what God's word is teaching and receive it. So this business about blending, that's all going away. Jesus is coming soon, literally, physically, visibly, audibly, personally, right? So let's not try to blend stuff. Let's just find out what God has for us. Let no other gods, let no other theologies be mentioned, only the theology of, of the true God. God bless you today, and we'll see you back tomorrow morning.